Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing another original page. I'm using some of my brand new stamps which were just released over at Rubber Dance. Um, I'm working in my small handmade junk art journal and I'm starting my pages with acrylic paints. I have already some gesso and some leftover paint on the pages. I'm applying the paints with my fingers. Um, this is one of my favorite techniques to create a background because it's very intuitive and it feels really easy. The paints I'm using are from Amsterdam and also from one of the online stores I normally purchase my art supplies and it's a German brand from that online store. It's nothing special. When the background is dry I go on top with some blue paint. You have to be always a little bit careful when you mix so many colors on one page that you don't create mud and one way to avoid that is to let the layers dry in between and not to mix the complementary colors. When the pages are completely dry, I go in with some background stamping using some of the new stamps. This is one of our loose floral stamp set. I have linked all the stamps I'm using on this page in my description box. I'm using Stazon ink to stamp my images because it dries the fastest on an acrylic background and you will see that this leaf branch looks very much darker than the other one. The reason for that is that I've stamped it with black before and I haven't cleaned it and so it's a little bit contaminated but I think that doesn't matter. I really like that look. My main images are some of the flowers from the loose floral set and I stamped them with Stazon ink to Bristol paper. Bristol paper is a really smooth paper. It's heavyweight. It has about 200 or 230 GSM. I am not sure at the moment. And the look on it is completely different in comparison to watercolor paper and I really like that, especially for those loose um, colorings. I'm working very quickly and um, I just add some color in that ha doesn't have to be perfect. Before I glue down my flowers, I stamp them also to the background. The reason for that is that I can now um, adhere them and you will not see that these are adhered to the page because um, I cut them out directly on the black outline and then I glue them into um, their own shape. Mm -hmm. 
I add a stem with the Uniposca marker and then I will also stamp some leaves to complete the images. I felt that there was something missing on the page, so I decided to use our Mix the Sentiment stamp set and add some random texture to it. And here you can see the finished spread. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope we see us next time. Bye!